In this video of Common Archive, I'll be going over the reuses of Common Rider 01. Since the last video I did of Common Rider Saber reuses did pretty well. I will also have two reviews in the works, but they won't be released until next week. With that out of the way, let's get started with Common Rider 01 first. Surprisingly, 01 will only have two reuses. With that form being Kamen Rider 001, which uses the Force Riser, it will reuse the chest armor of Hirobi Arjin, the undersuit leg armor, and abdominable armor of Night Rogue. The shoulder and the armor on the arms are from the Nebula Hell Bros. The only element original to the suit are the helmets and the restraint cables added to the dies. Next is Hell Rising Hopper, which is a recolored of Shining Assault Hopper with a modified chest plate and a more pronounced armor. Fitting as both forms rely on elements that cause the armor to physically emerge within the undersuit. Just like Zero One, Vulcan will only have two reused suits, that being the Kamen Rider Otheros Vulcan, which is a repaint of Assault Wolf. It will also reuse the claws of Kamen Rider Naki. His other form, Kamen Rider Vulcan Lone Wolf, will be a repaint of Ichigata's suit with a new helmet and new shoulder pads. Unlike the others, Valkyrie will only have one reused Kamen Rider form, being the Kamen Rider Valkyrie Justice Servo suit, which is a retool of her Lightning Hornet suit, with the claws retooled from Otheros Vulcan in a new helmet. Sadly, Kamen Rider Jin does not have a reused form, but Kamen Rider Hirobi does. With that being Hirobi Arc Scorpion, which is retooled from Kamen Rider Ichigata, while the helmet is a retool of Hirobi Sting Scorpion. Fun fact. Hirobi's katana is retooled from Samurai General Budo from Seiju Sentai, Ginga Man. The next rider is Kamen Rider Izakuchi. I probably butchered that name, but you know, what can you do? His suit will have similar parts from Kamen Rider 001, except with the undersuit of Bloodstock, additional arm fins from Night Rogue, and a new helmet. Kamen Rider Naki's suit will also be a reuse with its undersuit being Kamen Rider 001, as well as having repainted version of its boots, armbands, gloves, and knee pads. Kamen Rider Dowser's undersuit is a recolored from 01's. Their helmets also share the same base mold indicated by the seams on the side of the helmet, and their boots also share the same sole, but in a different color. His game illness form reuses Kamen Rider Zaya's suit, which is a recolored of Kamen Rider Dowser, with the undersuit being of Arc Zero. His Dowser Arc form recycles Kamen Rider Arc One's suit with a recolored version of Kamen Rider Dowser's helmet and Dowser leg armor from his Buckster infected form. Another bonus is Kamen Rider Arc Zero's design, which is heavily modified from Zero One Rising Hopper. Kamen Rider Eden's suit will have the same base design as Zero One in Dowser, except with the die armor recycled from Flying Falcon, as well as having new arm and torso armor and a new helmet. Kamen Rider Lucifer's suit will be retooled and recolored from Eden, with the shoulder and die armor recycled from Hopping Kangaroo. Shin armor is recycled from Biting Shark and Metal Cluster Hopper, and his arm guard is also reused from Metal Cluster Hopper. All the Kamen Rider Abaddon and the Commanders also will share the same basic undersuit as the Raiders due to a miscommunication by the design team. Due to the fact that Abaddon was under the name Locust Rider, which the design team misunderstood as Locust Raider, Kamen Rider Zaya's suit will be a repaint of Dowser's and reuses the Arc Zero undersuit. Kamen Rider Metsubo Jinrai will be a retool of Kamen Rider Hirobi's suit with additional head, torso, arm, and shin armor. In the stage show called Kamen Rider 01 Final Stage, there will be a new villain rider known as Kamen Rider Arc 01, which is a recolored from Kamen Rider Arc 1 with the 01 boots and a modified version of Rising Hopper's transformation phrase. And that is all the Kamen Rider reuses in Kamen Rider 01.